Stroke of luck last night means Salford remain top of the table as they prepare to face Darlington at Blackwell Meadows. Nuneaton's win over Harrogate also means that Darlington drop into the relegation zone after just one win in their last six. However, four more always goes out of the window in meetings between these two, with the Quakers leading in the head-to-head -head with four wins, while Salford have three and there are two draws. That's with Nottingham. Looking at Field, sends a long throw, it's over the halfway line, it bounces, and Brown just about clears it before it gets to Redshaw, but Shelton picks up and plays ball over the top for Phoenix, first time into the area for Redshaw, Redshaw as he tries to pull it across, it's blocked, but Phoenix picks a rebound up, drives into the area, drives a low shot across, and it's put over the bar, but I think that Shelton just short of the penalty spot, first chance for Salford, it was a good one, no, I think it is going to be Shelton, right, run up, right footed, drills it low, just wide to the near post, I think Talbot might even have pushed that one round. Collins with the throw, bounce in front of Thompson, and Torre wins the ball. And Thompson nips in again, try and send it forward. It's headed away by Hogan, brought down by Shelton. Shelton down the right hand side to Phoenix. Phoenix cutting onto his left, back onto his right, rolls it through, and it just rolls wide to the far post. It's a good effort from Phoenix, right from the edge of the area. It's just dragged in, it's just spun wide. Again, down the right-hand side, Phoenix rises, heads it onto Redshaw, who's on side, brings the ball down, switches the ball out to the left, Walker takes it well in his path, cuts onto his right foot as well, Walker at the top of the area, drives it into the side netting. <laughs> there was a lull of breath there from the fans, but it's into the side netting just wide from Walker. In the second half, nothing of note as of yet, apart from the very extraordinary start. Thompson into Mills, gets it back off Portis, into the area, Walker brings him down from behind and it's a penalty for Darlington. Mills just tried to ghost inside and Walker's caught him from behind and I think it'll be Rhys Steich to take this, it'll be the first real opportunity. Steich, right footed up against Crokem, tries to lob it and he lobs it into Crokem. He tries to be too clever with that one and Crokem has recovered from on the ground. He will not want to see that one back again. Torrey, left-footed, puts it high in towards far post. Piergiani peels away, heads it back down. Phoenix drives it in, into the far post. And Mike Phoenix gives Salford a lead here at Blackwell Meadows in the 55th minute. Piergiani just cushioned the header back into him. And Phoenix drove it low. He drove it true into the far post. And Salford City lead 1-0. Shelton trying to close him down. Redshaw now putting the pressure on Brown. Brown driving Darlington forward. Tees the ball up down the right hand side for Thompson. Takes it well. Now looking to cut in field at Torre. Moving in field, squares it across to Steich. Steich back out to Thompson. Thompson through to Gillis on the right hand side of the area. Pulls it across, coming in. And Darlington equalise. Greg Mills coming in centrally. No one in a blue shirt picking him up. That's a really poor goal to concede. And Darlington are back in this after 65 minutes. Torrey, left footed, does get one in, it's headed away, comes down to Hogan. Hogan helps it on towards the far post and Steich gets it clear over the back for a corner to Salford. 87 minutes, Torrey whips it in, it's up in the air, it's loose, Maynard's underneath it, trying to bring it down, comes to Dudley, Dudley is off the line by Darlington, comes back to Beasley, drives it in, comes down to Maynard, Maynard just in front of Hogan and out for a goal kick to Darlington a couple of really good opportunities in front of goal there but I didn't see who that was off the line but that is crucial from them for Darlington that might just have rescued them a point scores is still level Talbot sends the ball central Steich brings it down to Gillis but Torre intercepts Mafuta ball over the top it's bounced down for but Dudley Dudley on the top of the area bouncing it's the far post and Salford take the lead late on here at Blackwell Meadows that's a great ball again over the top from Goss Mafuta and Dudley from the top of the area puts it low again into that far post Talbot helpless and Salford City lead 2-1 it's the last 10 seconds now 
Talbot sends it forward, headed away by Hogan, comes down to Dudley, Dudley just wants to lay it off, down the right hand side for Beasley, storming forward, Dollov giving it away, but it's just Talbot who gets there ahead of Beasley and gets it clear for Darlington, we played the four minutes. And the referee blows the full-time whistle and Salford City had the first win of 2018. 2-1 up at Blackwell Meadows and Dudley scoring in the 89th minute. Talk about the last-minute winner. That is exactly what Salford needed and they are five points clear at the top of the Van Arm National League North.